What's up guys, I'm Brian from the Agree Better Beer Bureau. Uh, coming at you with another blind. Uh, today we're gonna do uh, Westbrook's Scotch Mexican Cake. Um, this was November of 2017. Uh, this gets aged for 12 months in barrels. And uh, we're gonna pull it blind on uh, Pat and Kyle and see what they think about it. And uh, see what you guys think about it. <laughs> Ooh. So, a little sugary sweetness and a little bit of booze. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Chocolate, coffee, sugar. There is just a yeah. straight sugar yeah. aroma on this. <sighs> Say some, some whiskey or bourbon on it. Hint of vanilla. There's a little bit of vanilla for sure, yeah. See yeah, a sweetness, bourbon, coffee. Almost like a, a spicy wood, like a. Yeah, I was that spice. I was thinking almost, almost like a cinnamon, almost like that kind of a. You know that typical. Uh, yeah, coffee, cinnamon. vanilla, cinnamon kind of. Style of beer, with almost one booze. Of peppers in this. Cause it's... Mm. Big aroma. Pretty yeah. cold too. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa, yeah. Wow, is that thick? Thick and thin. <laughs> All the, I mean, it just it just follows the nose. A lot of those different flavors are popping up, like a cinnamon, you know, coffee, vanilla, chocolate, booze. I mean, I'm getting all of it. Yeah, I, I, up front, I'm getting all, all those flavors. You know, mm -hmm. I'm getting coffee, I'm getting chocolate, I'm getting cinnamon, mm -hmm. I'm getting a, a little bit of pepper on it. Yeah. Um, almost like a chicory kind of. Yeah. Kind of taste. Yeah. Um, but on the back end, there's just kind of just just this faintly sweet, almost like I know it can't possibly, but it almost like a, a sweet rum on the back end. Um, it's interesting. It's different. I'm not quite sure what to make. Yeah, of see, thing. I don't, I don't actually get bourbon, but I get booze. Mm -hmm. There's so many flavors going on, and we could be missing something. But you know, the key, the key flavors, I think, are now that the hot peppers. It seems like a hot pepper is, is present. So maybe coffee, some vanilla, some chocolate, some cinnamon. There's, it all seems to be in there, and I really have not problems pulling anything off. Almost like a molasses. That sweetness. So yet. if you guys had to guess the spirit, you know. I mean, what would you roll with? Do you think if it, I mean, you guys both said you think it's aged in something. Oh yeah, it's. I, um, what, well, when he said rum, I thought you know that might be it because I don't actually taste bourbon because there's so much sweetness. <clears throat> you know, sometimes you get so much sweetness you can confuse it with rum because sure. rum is you know maybe a little bit more of a sweeter spirit. But I'm almost getting like a tequila vibe. But it could very well, I mean, just based on how many on the adjuncts in this, it can mask all kinds of different mm -hmm. sure. spirit flavors. That There's a lot going on. Yeah. I, I would have to say at least 12%. <laughs> at least. It's got a lot of nice, like, it's almost like a milk chocolate. Not so much a dark chocolate, but a milk chocolate yeah. with some coffee and some dark malts. Uh, a whole, I feel like this maybe even has a bunch of spices in it because it's, I get cinnamon, I get like a like a chicory, I get peppers, I get um, even like like a balsa wood kind of on it, maybe a mesquite. Um, and definitely aged in something, I feel like. I'm having trouble nailing down exactly what it's aged in. It could be whiskey, it could be rye, ooh, could be rye, rye whiskey, whiskey. Oh boy. could be tequila. Yeah, spice, yeah. But it's just very lightly boozy, a little bit of burn going down. Surprises, surprises. Finish is surprisingly clean for, yeah. for everything going on on it. It's it's a tasty beer and it's 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 curious and I'm enjoying it. So I'm gonna get a four and a quarter out of five. All right, um, I was thinking four and a half the whole way. Just between the aroma and the flavors, I mean they are in your face, um, and every flavor is pronounced. You can get every single flavor that we've been describing. Um, mouthfeel, I think, is spot on. A uh, little bit lacking in the carbonation, but with a big beer like this, you know, I'm thinking it's going to do that. Um, 
And like he said, too, it does kind of finish clean because it's super sweet and, and chewy almost, but then it finishes clean. Maybe from the barrel, I don't know, but uh, I think it's a they did a very, very nice job on this beer. I'm going to give it a, a good four and a half. The more I drink it, the more I think there's maple in this. Yeah. Any of you guys want to take a stab at what it might be? No, I can't. <clears throat> have, right. we ha have we had it? It's 2017. I'll let you, Pat, lift the lid. It is Scotch and Mexican cake. Oh, Scotch. Scotch. Scream Scotch to me. Yeah. But I, then again, I'm not drinking it blind. Right. Yeah. <laughs> nice. But like, you guys did pick out a ton of the flavors, man. And yeah. There was, yeah, now that, you, you know, of course, now that you mention it, yeah, mm -hmm. I got that little bit of peat to it, yeah. Yeah, sip it again now. It definitely yeah. was. <laughs> well, can, it's, it's lingering on my palate. I can get a little bit of a... a fresh a, there's a, a, there's a an earthy, scotchy... Right. Like, I mean, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think it was bourbon and, either. And we figured, Pat, since you've kind of been in hiatus, this might be a good one to like share nice. with you and drink with nice. you and see what you think. So hope now, you guys now that I it. know there's scotch in it, I can play scotch. In it. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> absolutely. You want to revise your score, Pat? No, no, it's, no, it's still a damn fine beer. Hey, thanks, Brian. Hey, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Time, okay, till next, next time. time. Cheers. I want them to be. Hehehe. <laughs>